Welcome back, Naughty Nation. It's your boy Bronson. Today, I'm going to mess some epoxy up for your viewing pleasure. The Naughty Artisan. All right, so we've got our super gloss out with us today. And super gloss is a wonderful, wonderful product. And it's designed, it leaves a really, really nice uh, coating. Now it's designed to be a tabletop or a, a final coating. So it's not designed for casting. It's designed for troweling it out or spreading it out. So that's a, a, about a quarter inch thick on your piece. Now once you mix it up, there's two, there's two numbers you need to know with any resin or epoxy that you're using. First one's your pot life. What that means is once I mix it up, how long can I leave it in the pot before the reaction starts kicking off and my epoxy flashes on me? And then the second number you wanna know is called your working time. So what that is, is after I mix it out and pour it onto my surface, how much time do I have to work with it before the reaction starts happening? And then it, it's too late for me to work with. So epoxy is a two-part component as we know. It creates an exothermic reaction, meaning as we mix the two, there's a chemical reaction that, that causes it to heat and then cool and harden into the epoxy that you love. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna overclock our epoxy on purpose. So we're gonna use it, uh, we're gonna take this super gloss and we're gonna abuse it. We're gonna do what we're not supposed to do with it. We're gonna pour it at, um, this is probably four inches, five inches tall. And then I'm gonna pour a little cast with it so you can see what happens as well. And let's just see what happens. So I'm gonna take it and this is a 26 ounce cup. I'm gonna go ahead and fill it all the way up to 26 ounces. And then we're just gonna let it go. So after I do that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave the camera on it so that it time lapses for you and you'll be able to see the reaction. Um, this is one of the things that we'll be seeing in real time. All right, so with this, I'm gonna throw just a little sparkle in just so I have a little contrast off. I, I want it to be clear so that you can see the results of uh, what happened. I'm just gonna mix my epoxy up, get a real good mix, get the two components evenly mixed just like I would with any uh, project, and then we're gonna let it fire off. So some of the drawbacks on why you don't wanna do this, you're gonna rapidly overheat this epoxy. You're gonna see that happen. Um, it gets dangerously hot. You won't want to touch it or get it on your fingers. Um, and also, it will crack. It will yellow badly, and uh, sometimes if you get it hot enough, it will crack and just bust open. None of those results are a result that we desire. So, All right, now that I've got it mixed up really well, I grabbed a random mold of my, my shop. This one happens to be a big booty. <laughs> uh, now remember, super gloss is meant to be poured on a flat surface, not casted. So we're going to do the exact opposite of what it is. I'm going to go ahead and fill this mold up. And so we can keep an eye on that. And then I'm gonna leave the rest right here in this um, cup. And we're gonna leave the cameras on time-lapse and let's see what happens.
All right, we've been about 30 minutes since we've over poured the super gloss. As you can see, we've had a lot of dramatic changes go on. Um, this is so incredibly hot on the side, I can't even touch it. If you were to get this on your hands, it would burn the heck out of you for sure. Um, instant blistering, that kind of stuff. I can barely just touch it. Um, I've had uh, cups just melt before. This mold here, it's already hard and it's extremely, extremely hot. If I take this, it's it's, it's hardening right up. The exotherm is going out of control. You can see we've had a lot, a lot of deep uh, yellowing from the uh, over, over clocking of the exotherm. Yeah, this is insane. Um, it's pretty much a solid mass here, but it's continuing to get hotter and hotter. I don't know if the camera's picking up, but there's steam being released. This is not the result that you would want if you were casting. Oof, I, I, I've got to say that's, in excess of 150 degrees or more. It's, it's incredibly hot. This cup is just on the verge of melting. It is just flexy. I mean, look at this. This is 30 minutes in and this, the, the heat coming off this, I can't describe. It feels like I'm over a frying pan right now. There's, I can just feel the heat being released. All right, thanks for watching our video on how to abuse your epoxy. This stuff is, Super hot. I can't I can't even touch it to pick it up. It's just unbearable um, Look how quickly that yellowed um, Hopefully you learned something from it as usual We don't ask for any money from this channel, but we do ask for three things for you If you enjoyed this video, please like this video if you enjoy this channel, please subscribe And if you want to see all of our videos ring that bell The Nuck T Art is sun the naughty artisan.